Whoa, hold up, we gotta talk. A highly anticipated creative AI model has just flown off the shelves from the creative brand we all know and love. <laughs> Say it with me, Adobe. With that being said, introducing Adobe Firefly. Firefly is Adobe's new family of creative generative AI models designed to be commercially safe and focused on image generation and text effects. I think it's also important to mention because of all the conversations AI has brought to the forefront in regards to copyright and ownership, Adobe plans to introduce a do not train tag for creators who do not want their content to be used in the model training. Highly important. <laughs> and these tags will remain associated with your content, whether it's used, published, and or stored on Adobe servers. Basically keeping creator safety and ownership in mind. And honestly, that's nice for a change in the AI space. On top of that, Adobe is planning to enable customers to extend Firefly's training with their own creative collateral, generating content in their own style and or brand language. Adobe is designing Firefly to give creators superpowers to work at the speed of our imaginations. With Firefly, everyone who creates content, regardless of their experience or talent, will be able to use their own words to generate content the way they dream it up from images, audio, illustrations, video, and 3D with greater speed and ease than ever before. With Firefly, producing limitless variations of content and making changes again and again will be quick and simple. With all that being said, let's check this baby out. All right, so this is Adobe Firefly. As you guys can see, there's text to image, there's text effects here, and there's also recoloring on top of many other things that are going to be explored, but more on that later. Okay, what I wanna show to you guys is firstly, the text to image and also this text effects as well that I've been playing around with a little bit. So let's jump into text to image. So if you guys are familiar with other AI tools, simply all we have to do here is we have a nice little text box and we have the other imagery that we can really just look at and also just see what the prompts were so i can scroll down here i this llama is really you know <laughs> is looking at me so i want to look back so we're going to try this prompt and we actually can see a pretty nice ui here so let's take a look at this so basically we've we've copied the llama prompt and we see right here what the prompt is highly detailed llama and we also see some of the filters that are on here as well we have concept art and dramatic lighting and if you're wondering where those things came from simply they're right here in this right hand column of information here we have essentially aspect ratio what size do we want to to have this image? Do we want it in portrait, landscape, square, widescreen? What type of content? Do we want a graphic? Do we want art, photo, or do we want any? On top of that, we also have some styles to choose from, digital art, synth, and if I actually choose some of these, it actually, if I go back, it now adds that filter to this and I can go back to regenerate. It will actually change based on the, fil the filters I'm calling them. And you can kind of play around with it. So for example, if I actually want to go to, let's go to some materials here. I'm going to change this to fur. I'm going to change, let's see, color and tone. Let's play around with vibrant color. And we have dramatic lighting. Let's try studio lighting for a change. Composition, let's do shot from above. And let's go ahead and hit generate. Ooh, there are much more colors, guys. I like that. So ladies and gentlemen, that essentially this is just a quick little glimpse at the tool. I love the fact that it has the ability to, it, just the UI, you know? And this is really nice as well. Flock of beautiful origami birds flying above a blue ocean in the sun. I honestly really like the fact that we don't have to do all of those crazy like <laughs> amalgamation of text to get what we want. I love the fact that we have the ability to change the aspect ratios via UI here. And on top of that, be able to actually pick what type of content type we have, whether it be a piece of art and really even adding on top of that some styles. So I can add Synthwave onto this and some lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and do dramatic lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate. Very nice. We got some nice neon, some synth wave. We got that nice purple blue aesthetic in there. I really dig it. Now, this is the text to image side of things. Of course, you can write your own prompt as you desire, but I just want to show you guys how you can use some other prompts just to get a little bit of an understanding of how to use this tool. And of course, you can use your own prompts if you desire. But now I kind of want to show you the text, <laughs> really the text to text. Let's take, let's check that out. So we have our text to image. Now let's check out text effects. So let's click on that. So as you guys can see, just like before, we can see some of the text effects that we have here, which is are some really cool things. As you guys can see, I've played around with this a little bit. I, you guys know me, I love black and gold. This is awesome. So this is black and gold dripped paint. Let's actually try this prompt. 
And again, just to give you guys a little bit of an overview of the tool, let's take a peek at this. So as you might be familiar, there are variations in which we can pick from our prompt. So we have four different variations for our N. And of course, I can actually write anything here. So I'm going to just write my last name, Gross. And we have the same prompt, black and gold dripping paint. So instead of just the N, we now have all the letters of my name in the exact style of which the N was. So I can put this just as a G, shift G, same style. I can click through my variations. I can also refresh my variations. And on top of that, I can also, we have some effect presets that we can go and view all. There are watercolor, snake skin, balloon, driftwood, denim wires. And also we have some text effects fit things here as well. Basically, whether or not we want the effects that is are being applied to our letter. Do we want that nice and tight to fit the actual font that we're using? Do you want it a little bit outside of the font that we're using? For example, where we're actually getting this drip effect outside of the G, or do we want to actually have it even more loose, which would probably apply even more dripping outside of the G, it's just so you guys can see here. So boom, way outside the G, medium, keeps it a little bit tighter, and tight keeps it exactly to the form of the G. So as you guys can see, the G's, because we have that little, um, this dip here, boom, it tries to stay exactly inside the G. All right, and also we have our color background. For example, if we do want a background color, right now we have that yellow, we can change it to orange, red, etc. Or we can just have it to transparent, and we simply can go to copy straight from our clipboard to copy that into a you know Photoshop, Illustrator, what have you, or we can just download the image simply right here. So, so now that you've seen a little bit about how Adobe Firefly works, let's actually put it in action with some of my web design workflows. So let's get started. First off, we need some assets, so we're gonna be using this puppy to be developing or creating some amazing footwear for our luxurious web design project. So let's dive in and go ahead and get that started. So as I have shown you guys before, I've shown you how the UI works, etc. I've simply put in for our prompt a commercially high quality shot of a fashionable gold, shiny and jeweled sports shoe for men. I have the content set to none and I have some filters here, fantasy, hyper realistic, neon and studio lighting. We have amazing set of shoes just like this. And I have gone through a couple of them to get just a few more renditions as well, just simply by clicking this show similar button here as well. All right, so I have Adobe XD open here, and before we actually get started on building what it is that I want to build here in this program, I have a couple things that I actually need to do. First off, we need to go to Adobe Photoshop, and as you guys can see here, I've kind of already cut out some of the photos here, but really what I've done is all of the content that has been produced by Adobe Firefly, I brought into Adobe XD, and as we kind of go through here to show you guys the imagery that I've gotten from Adobe Firefly, I have just brought them in and I have cut them out using the marquee tool as well as the selection tool feathered them out and we have some nice selections that we can bring in to our design so going back to Adobe XD simply I am going to open up my downloads folder and I am gonna pull in all of my shoes that we have here just like this Okay, so I've pulled in all of my shoes. I have all different kinds and I really want to use this shoe as our main attraction. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale this puppy up as well as find some other shoes that I might want to use maybe for a slider. And let me go ahead and drag those onto the screen really quickly. So I'm going to select these three. I'm going to go ahead and pull these together. Just make sure that they're aligned. Boom, boom, pull them in. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've been able to produce with the assets created from Adobe Firefly. As you guys can see, we have that shoe that we have in the center. We have three other shoes that we have decided to pick and we put this together with a very lovely color scheme, actually color picked from all the assets that we've taken from Adobe, that we have taken from Adobe Firefly. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how I'm going to be using Firefly moving forward. It produces some amazing assets that I cannot wait to use for some of my uh, design projects moving forward as you guys can see I'm pretty happy with this amazing assets amazing color scheme all from Adobe Firefly and I even got a little bit of a, a logo mark for my web page here so ladies and gentlemen I highly recommend that you check out more Firefly see how you can bring it into your workflow and see what happens make some magic happen
Okay, so now that you have seen a little bit of how I have used this in my design workflow, it's your turn. I would love to see and understand how you want to use Adobe Firefly in your workflow. Let me know in the comments how you plan on using it and if you have any questions as well. With that said, it's your favorite designer, host, and promoter, Brandon Gross, out. Can't wait to see what you guys build with Adobe Firefly. Take it easy.